Hey guys, today we're going to pick up the navigation through ocean classification series by moving on to the next class, which is the largest class under the phylum Periphera, Demospongae. 80% of all the sponge species are found in this class. But before we go any further, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash that like button and that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now let's move right along. As opposed to the previous class we talked about calcarea that had calcium carbonate spicules, these sponges have spicules that are made out of either spongin or silica. Therefore, they may not be as rigid as the calcareous sponges. Also, every freshwater sponge is found in this class. They are all asymmetrical and they range from only a mere couple of millimeters to up to over six feet in diameter much like this very large barrel sponge filmed right here. So there's a lot of variation among this class. What sets these types of sponges apart from the others as well is possibly their presence of color, and they're usually way more brightly colored than other sponge species. This is due to the pigment granules that are found within the amoebocyte cells of the sponges. Almost every member in this class utilizes the leuconoid sponge construction. Now, that construction is the most complex out of the three levels. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the video before this and you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. I'll link to it in the description. The orange elephant ear sponge is found in this class and it is a type of Nemo sponge found in Caribbean waters. They get their name from their large ear-like shape and they are found on reefs at depths like 25 to 30 feet deep. Another example of a demo sponge would be the fire sponge, which is found in mangroves or coral reefs and gets its name from its bright orange fiery color. I hope you all enjoyed this quick summary of the class demo sponge. The next class that we will be looking at is hexactinaletta or the glass sponges.